Okay, so here we are. This is City Creek Canyon. And if you follow me over here. Today, this is the City Creek Canyon, and we're going to find some cool animals. Okay, so here we have, these are actually raccoon tracks. There's some better ones over there. Right here. And you can see, these raccoons have very, have very long fingers, so they can grab onto things really easily. But also, it helps them stay on top of the mud, because they have so much more surface area than us compared to their body. They're doing a lot better than we are. I'm just gonna let you guys situate that. <laughs> oh, there's mud all over this lens. Okay, so when we're out here, we want to look for garter snakes in the water. A lot of times they'll be swimming, looking for prey. And also in these crevices up here, which is what I'm after. If there's a face, you'll see it right away. Well, the water's moving. Just no, but have you ever seen, have you ever seen a fish just like moving a river like that? Right now, um, we probably don't have anything though. I just almost caught a fish in my bare hands. It's so awesome. Yeah, it was rigging around my hand. I was like, ah, <laughs> she's that hard to catch. So close though. No cameras over here though. We can't lose. Oh, I got my hat. Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. And then we're getting out of here, okay? Yeah, I don't. Fast. No, as long as your shoes on, we'll be fine. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe this is happening. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> we were over at City Creek Canyon. We were in this these ponds towards the end of this section over here. And we were separate. And all of a sudden they start like, what the heck is this? And I run over as fast as I can and behold the toe biter, also known as the giant water bug. You get bit by this thing, you will be in agonizing pain. So, what it does when it bites you, is it reaches you in and then shoots out a stinger from or right around next to his mouth, shooting the venom into your body. That's how it catches its food. These guys are ambush predators. So what they'll do is they'll wait, perfectly camouflaged, and then they'll grab their prey, anything from maybe small fish, you know, all the little stuff. I want to get in with my other lens too, so don't let him go. Now these guys spend most of their lives swimming in the water. And they're called a toe biter because if you're walking barefoot and you try and step on these, they'll bite on your toe and it'll hurt really bad and they're famous for that. That's why they're called toe biters. Scientifically talking, their real name is the giant water bug. And you can see that they're a bug that lives in water and it's absolutely huge. You guys, right now we are releasing this toe biter back into its natural environment. Goodbye little water bug. Thank you guys so much for watching this epic episode on the toe biter. Please comment and subscribe. See you on the next Utah Nature episode.